What is happening, you guys? It's your boy, the pro. Today on the Dyna, we're gonna be doing some Iron Man shit. Um, turns out the Dyna has a bad stator, um, and to check that, you basically pull the plug. Uh, it's better if I just show you guys. This wire right here comes under primary, right down there. Um, this is going straight to your stator. It's also going to your voltage regulator. Uh, JMP Cycles has a good video on how to test this. So you get your one lead right there, one of the prongs, and then find a good ground. Uh, typically these bolts around here are grounded. Um, don't go for like chrome or anything like that. Like that, you're not gonna get anything. When I test, I'm getting continuity, which is not good. You should not be getting any continuity on these prongs. Um, and I think actually all of them uh, gave me, yep, uh, gave me uh, continuity. So basically somewhere in the stator, it's essentially grounding out to the rest of the bike. I gotta swap it out. I gotta take off the outer primary. Uh, I don't have to completely take off the primary. I just have to get to basically this area right here. Uh, pull the magnet off, swap it out, and should be good to go. Good thing I did this job pretty recently, um, so I know kind of what I'm doing a little bit. Zip ties are your friend for getting the chain tensioner off, so let's get back to it. So this is the part where I have no idea what I'm doing, so wish me luck and see if it goes alright. Okay, so I did off camera but I had to take off the inner primary. There's a little lip on the inside of the inner primary that didn't allow me to get the cover off, so I'll show you. Alright, so I finally got the stator cover off, which is this guy, held in by magnets. But here it is, right there. So I just need to get out these little T27s, I believe it is, and I'm good to go. But look at how messed up that one is. Look at the difference. That's probably been in here since the bike left the lot, pretty much. So hopefully this fixes the issue.
definitely gonna test it. No beeps. There we go. So it's getting a little dark. Got the new stator in, but I yeah, it's getting dark. So I'm just gonna put the inner primary back on and then uh, continue this mañana. But here we are. Um, I went ahead and put the clutch and all that other good stuff back together. Last night before it got too dark, we are almost there. I just want to add real quick, don't forget to put your drain plug in, because if you only have one quart of primary fluid and you dump it all out, you're going to go back to Harley. Ask me how I know. is put back together primary fluid in there uh, still gotta adjust this guy I even retested the wire it's all good no continuity gotta reconnect the battery throw the seat back on and then yeah we're all done oh I gotta adjust my clutch as well well if you made it this far thank you for watching um, really appreciate it I like making these videos because when I'm bored, I'll just watch people work on bikes all day long. Something that makes me happy. Even though I got a brand new lowrider, I love tinkering with this thing, finding out how it works. So if anybody's out there that's like learning how to ride and stuff, just I would almost go with an older bike just so you can learn how to work on it. Find out it's a little quirks and shit. It's kind of like a person in a sense. But thank you. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Peace.